G'day folks, Cam from Wild Turin. I've come out today into Jaredale State Park to film a review for a new swag I've just bought. Uh, the swag I got is the Rugged Earth. Um, it's by Burke and Wills. Uh, they come in two sizes, a double and a king single. I bought the king single. Uh, look, Burke and Wills are a name that's synonymous with good quality Australian swags. Uh, to compete with all the Chinese import swags that are on the market at the moment, they brought out um, or oh, they've imported their own ones from China as well. Uh, they do uh, still warrant them for two years, like all their other products, but they've got a couple of features um, that I really like the look of, and I didn't know anyone else that had bought one yet, certainly not from uh, my circle of friends. And I was in the market for a new swag anyway, so I've gone ahead and purchased one. Um, and uh, before I did, I had a, a bit of a look on YouTube and re read on a few of the forums and on Facebook and that to see if anyone else had reviewed them or if I could get any first-hand personal experience uh, about people that had bought them and there was very little so I thought I'd do a quick video review um, full disclosure I did pay for the thing myself um, no discounts uh, it was $190 uh, plus 20 shipping so it came in at 210 which is pretty competitive with other um, other similar uh, similar swags um, it only arrived yesterday it took about 10 days to ship from the East Coast so I'm in Perth WA so I haven't actually spent a night in it yet so this is just sort of my first um, sort of opinions of uh, what I think of it uh, so anyway here it is oh, I will say when it first arrived the box was tiny um, and I was thinking holy shit this swag must be so small um, but it is quite a lot bigger than my uh, my other my old single swag actually I brought that along so I'll pull it out and show you um, the size difference between them packed up but the reason it looks so small in the packaging was that they vacuum seal the mattress um, so there wasn't a lot of dead air space and they really had that thing clamped down obviously to make it as cheap as possible with freight so if you're like me and you see it rock up and it looks tiny um, don't stress it uh, it's a hell of a lot bigger once it's opened up which you'll see now <coughs> Oh, and it actually fits in the canvas bag, which is a bonus. And here's a tip for players. When you're folding these things up, any swag with it's got these hoop uh, poles on the side, put them through the um, canvas material like that when you fold them up. It's just one more thing you don't have to do when you're setting it up. Saves you a little bit of time. And also on other swags that have different size um, uh, hoops, different size poles, then you don't have to get them, lay them all out to see which one goes where. Uh, but that was another thing that I did like about this swag. They're the same size uh, hoop poles, so you can't mix them up anyway. There you go, that's the setup, similar to any other um, uh, similarly designed swag with the twin hoop design with the uh, horizontal pole across the centre. Um, right, reasons that I bought this over other imported swags. There aren't too many single freestanding swags. Um, the reason that I wanted a single freestanding swag is that I only go camping by myself in a swag. Um, I don't, if, if I've got the kid or the missus along with me, I'll always take the camper trailer. And previous to the camper trailer, I always took a, la a large canvas um, tent so the missus could stand up to get changed and things like that. Swags for me are really just for boys trips and I never spend more than one, two, three nights in them. And that's probably about once a month. Um, so, and I'm a bit of a fair weather camper. Um, if I'm only going away for a couple of nights, I'm going to pick good weather, which we have a lot of over here on the West Coast anyway. Uh, so that's the reason why I didn't want to spend a heap of money. Uh, there's definitely better quality swags out there, um, you know, Crash Pad and uh, Darchi and other ones like that. 
but they're two, three, four times the cost. Um, for me, I just can't justify it. I'm quite happy to spend something in this sort of price point, a couple of hundred bucks. So I'm only going by myself, so I want single, um, a single swag. But I, I like the idea of freestanding because sometimes you've got ground like this and it's a pain in the ass to get pegs in and it takes more time. Um, but it's hard to find single freestanding swags. Most of the freestanding ones are double. And the reason is that the single ones aren't generally as tall. Um, and if you put the center pole on, they're difficult to get into because they're low and you kind of got to bend underneath the pole to get in. Um, that's what I liked about this uh, Burke and Will swag. Uh, although it's uh, well, it's king single. It's a little bit wider and a little bit longer than your standard single, and I'll discuss that in a minute. But it's also quite a hell of a lot taller, um, which is why I can get away uh, being freestanding. <clears throat> so the canvas is um, is 14 ounce uh, uh, ripstop canvas, um, and it's got a PVC 600 GSM uh, bucket tub floor on it, um, which is pretty standard stuff. The poles, the poles are 0.9 mil thick um, aluminium poles, and the center pole, as you saw, was two piece, um, but it's got some sort of, it's got that spring uh, string stuff between them to keep them together. I do like that it separates into two pieces because it means you can fit it in the bag with it. Um, and yeah, they've just gone with the older style wing nut uh, twister lock on them. So it does seem to suffer from some of the same problems that I've seen from similarly priced um, a double or queen size freestanding swags. And that's that these um, poles tend to bow a little bit. Um, they're not dead straight. I don't know if you can see that. They kind of get a bit of a warp on. Um, and that centre horizontal pole has got the slightest sort of dip in it where it's sort of dipping. I don't know if it's dipping from the weight or the canvas or if it's just a little bit of play in that join maybe. I don't know, but there's a little bit of a dip there. Not too bad, certainly not as bad as other ones I've seen. And then the final thing is the um, side walls are coming in a little bit. I mean, they're not taut, but compared to the doubles and the queens, um, a hell of a lot better. And all those things can be rectified by putting a peg out here, pegging that out, and then um, a couple of uh, bungees off the side back to the peg, which is what I've seen people do with the kings. Um, doubles so little things just nitpicking things um, I'll show you inside it and we'll have a look at the mattress and some of the other features so all the zippers on it are size 10 is a no CM midgy style mesh uh, like I said size 10 zippers um, uh, the canvas roll can roll up both sides and can be uh, tucked away neatly with these little um, rope things there on both sides as well now the mattress um, is a king single mattress and I've only got a single sheet on it so that's why you can see the sheets um, sort of pulling up the mattress on the sides um, the mattress is a 50 mil it's supposed to be a high density foam mattress but uh, it, it wasn't particularly comfortable uh, and I always put a eggshell mattress topper on top anyway which I had already so that's something I do anyway um, but yeah the mattress is fairly thin not very comfortable uh, they've got little pockets in every corner, uh, which is good. Um, the swag's the exact same layout both ways, same height and all the rest of it, so you can lay either way uh, with, the, with the pockets in every corner anyway. Um, so I quite like that the canvas flaps are zipped on the inside, so if you, get, if you want airflow or if it starts to rain or whatever, you want to zip it up, unzip it, you can do it from inside the swag. Um, this was interesting. This uh, uh, mesh also zips open and shut, which I hadn't seen before. And I was thinking that's kind of kind of weird. I couldn't really see a reason why you'd want to do that. Um, but uh, I'm wondering if maybe, uh, I guess it's maybe designed so that when you've got the entire thing shut up, 
I don't know, would people want to would climb in from that side? Uh, from the ends? I, I'm not sure. It's not something I'd do. Maybe kids or something would. Um, but it, it was actually handy. It's come in handy already. Because when I was rolling the thing up, I'd shut all the sides. I started to roll it up. And then I realised I'd forgotten to open the canvas flaps on the ends to let the air out. Otherwise, it ends up being a big bubble of air. Normally, I'd have to unzip all the sides, get in there and unzip the canvas um, to let the air out. But I was able to just unzip the um, mesh from the outside and then unzip the canvas so I could let all the air out. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason for the feature, but uh, I like it. It's cool. Something different. Now to the size of the thing. For a single swag, it's massive. It's 2150 long, 1100 wide, and uh, one meter high. Just reminding you, this is the extra large, large swag. It also comes in a double. Um, the mattress itself uh, is 50 mil shorter than the overall length at 2100. Uh, it's a it's a thousand mil wide, so 100 mil and narrower. Uh, and it's yeah, like I said, it's meant to be 50 mil height, high density. The cover's removable for washing. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. There, yeah, been high density. It's not particularly comfortable, but it's not too bad. It's similar to any other swag at this price point, I'd say. I'm 100 kilo and I'm six foot three. Um, so I'm not the smallest bloke. Uh, I'll show you what sort of room I've got inside the thing. So getting into it, out of it's easy. Heaps of room. Comfortable with that mattress topper now. You can see what I mean by the sides. They kind of um, flap and close in a little bit. Like I said, you can rectify that by putting a um, putting a guy rope out. Uh, but I, I did purchase this not wanting to have to do that because I like the idea of them being freestanding, no pegs, quicker to set up. I can move it if I need to. Uh, I can move it if it starts to rain, stick it underneath the awning. Um, but there's no reason why this shouldn't be weatherproof once it's been seasoned properly, which I'll probably do today because it's such a nice day. Uh, and also, both ends, there's a little... A little uh, cloth hook here that you can hang a torch or something like that from yeah so heaps of room much bigger than the other single swag I'm pretty pretty pleased with that and yeah easy to get in and out of now this is where it comes into its own folks a free standing swag that you can actually roll up yourself Plastic clips. Don't know how long they'll last. Probably would have preferred the older style metal uh, clips, but these plastic ones are easier, it's just I don't think they're going to last. Here's my old single swag next to it, just for size comparison. So, um, this old girl's got uh, no bedding or anything in it, um, just the 150mm mattress that it came with, no mattress topper. No sheets, no pillow, nothing. So the new one's got um, an extra 25mm uh, mattress topper and a pillow in there. And you can see that sort of width-wise, the new one's folding up even smaller. Um, but yeah, you can see that 100mm extra length from the Birkin wheels. Yeah, so look, there's not a hell of a lot more I can say about this. If you're looking for a single freestanding swag um, uh, at around the $200 mark, then I reckon this is a pretty good buy. Um, what I'll do is, after I've used it a few times, I'll sort of check back in on one of my videos and, and, and let you know how it's going. Um, if you've got any specific questions or anything, of course, feel free to ask. Um, can I just say thanks uh, to you blokes that have subscribed. I'm getting closer to a 1,000, so that's really cool. Um, 
Oh, for all of you that have been um, asking about when I'm going to do like a full rig review and rundown of my car, I'm sorry it's taken so long. Uh, it is happening. It's coming. I'd say the next two to three weeks I'll be posting it. So stay tuned for that. If there's anything in particular that you want me to cover um, in that uh, rig review, uh, rig rundown, uh, just post below. Let me know, and I'll make sure I cover that for you. Uh, and the Perth Full Drive show is coming up uh, this weekend, so uh, I'll be there with the missus and the kid. If you do see me and you want to say g'day, say hello. Um, I'll stick a handful of stickers in my pocket and just ask if you want one. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.